not gonna lie I spend quite a bit of time just messing around with different effects and whatnot in GIMP trying to figure out what they do and how to use them this color correcting method I've been using lately in my work it's simple and it's quick and I'm gonna teach you how to use it right now let's get started hey you're still here excellent okay let's open our photo into GIMP here we'll go to file open I'm just gonna select our image and open it I'm gonna rotate it keep all of these settings the same now I'm gonna open this image twice so that we have one to work on and then one to compare it to when we're finished just keep the settings the same now we have two of the exact same photo right here to work with. You will notice that this picture has a bit of an off look to the coloring. That's because of the incandescent bulb in the overhead light in the room where this picture was taken. Let's fix that shall we? First we're going to come up here to colors. We're going to go to the first option color balance and we're going to be presented with these three options right here. Uh, shadows, midtones, and highlights. Uh, we're only going to be working with midtones and highlights for this project. Uh, down here are these three color levels that you can adjust. You'll notice that at each end is a color. So we have cayenne, magenta, and yellow on this side, red, green, and blue on this side. They start in the center at the default, default value of zero. The more you slide it one direction, the more it becomes that color. For example, we slide it towards cayenne, it's going to become more blue. Slide it towards red, it's going to be more red. So what we're trying to do here is just kind of correct it so it doesn't look with that. The wall is supposed to be white and this is supposed to be cream colored. It's kind of off, we can tell. So we're just going to go ahead and adjust these levels a little bit. Now we're going to turn this down a bit. You don't want to go too much. A little goes a long ways here. So, uh, we'll turn this one up just a little bit. And we'll turn this one up a tiny bit as well. Come over here to the highlights. Turn this one down just a little bit. Uh, does this one go down? to go up. Take it this way. Down a little bit. Hmm. It's the wrong direction. There we go. It's much, much better. Alright, so you see now the wall is looking white again and this light fixture has got its gnarly looking beige cream color to it so we're going to go ahead and click OK. It's going to scale it out and then we'll just look. So here's our photo that we've been working with and here's what it originally looked like. See the difference? So when you're done with your picture, you just go to File, Export As, and then save it to wherever you need it saved at. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on Twitch. I play games and hang out. Feel free to stop by and ask any questions you may have in chat, or just hang out. Who knows? We might even play some games together. I hope this video was helpful. If you learned something, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want more content like this, be sure to subscribe. As always, I hope this video has helped to inspire your creativity, and I will see you next time.